I'm the best Reese at what I do. But what I do best isn't very nice. Hello guys. I'm having a little bit of a cold here, so I'll try to talk slowly so you can understand, so bear with me. The Wolverine. This guy has certainly gone through a lot. I know Hollywood has overused him and the Origins movie sucked, but don't hate him for that. He's actually a very cool character and I'm going to prove it here. I gave a lot of thought to this review and I came to the conclusion that I had to review these two books together so people who weren't familiar to them could understand the difference. Because I know some people that didn't get what they were looking for, but that was only because they didn't know what they were getting into. So here we go. Logan, the Wolverine. This is a man with a convoluted past and like the Joker, I think it would have been better if they kept it a secret. But although I'm against the concept of his origin, Wolverine origin is a pretty good story. It's quite emotional and not this big freaking action in every page. The whole story is told from the perspective of a supporting character. It starts with Logan's childhood and some big revelations or reveals in his life. Um, continues on with his adolescence along this with his character and finishes with an, an open-ended situation kind of thing. But going into a spoiler territory, we find out about his father and half brother and the only the only thing I didn't like was that there's a certain death at the end which was very lame to me but it's okay because overall it's a good story and the artwork by Andy Cutebird, Joe Quesada and Richard Isanova fits perfectly to this story. It's just so beautiful looking, you know. Now, onto Weapon X, you might think that, well, if you don't like the idea of his origin at all, you probably hate this one. But nope. Actually, I prefer this origin to the other, in a way. Because it's not an origin per se. It's just how he got his animantium skeleton and lost his memory. We still don't know anything about him here. We watch him a little bit at, at the beginning and then at the end he's just furious killing everybody. Oh, and one thing. You can really feel for this guy here. After you... After how they messed up his mind like they did here. It's totally fine for a man like him to say, Hey, I have no idea. Man, did they fucked him up here. Barry Windsor Smith did both the story and the artwork, and they are just freaking awesome. Wolverine looks so detailed and like this furious beast that cannot be hold or contained, as he should, right? So if you wonder if I recommend these books, I'll tell you that they are basic Marvel books to get. Totally recommend it and an integral piece to an X-Men collection. So as always, thanks for watching and leave a comment guys, I appreciate it when you do, so see you next time.